Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Ikra Quiz, one of the Ikra Bangla's great show, where contestants take part in the competition. And it is an Islamic competition, of course. And today, we have two genius contestants. First I have with me is Sayyid Shazib Ali. Assalamu alaikum Shazib. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm feeling good, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Uh, we welcome you in this Iqra quiz. Uh, how do you feel? I feel nervous. Oh, don't feel nervous. Uh, you should be confident. Yeah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Then with the Shazib we have Nafisur Rahman. How are you, Nafis? Good, very good, alhamdulillah. Are you confident? Nervous and confident, yeah. I don't like the word nervous. I like everybody should be confident. Yeah. And we wish both of you should win. Inshallah. Inshallah. The rules are very simple. The question will appear on the screen. And you'll see the question. Four options will be given. One is the correct answer. If you choose the right answer, you get five. By choosing the wrong answer, there is no score. Whoever wins, obviously, his score will be the high. Highest score is the winner. Right? So simple. Yeah. Inshallah. Shall we start? Yes. Inshallah. Okay, Inshallah. So, we are going to start our quiz show. First, first question will go to Shazi. Shazib, you ready? Yes, inshallah. Your question on the screen. That's the question for you, Shazib. Which surah ends with the word Masad? Would you like to have the options? Yes, please. Okay. Options are for you. A is Surah Nasr. B will be Surah Lahab and the C is Surah Ma'un D you'll get Surah Humaza Question uh, for you Which Surah ends with the word Masad? Option B You have chosen Option B You think this is the correct answer? Yes. Okay, inshallah. We will log the answer. Option B he has chosen. Let's see. Alhamdulillah. That's your your answer was right, Shazad. You have just scored five. Mashallah. Okay. Next question goes to Nafis. Nafis, are you ready? Yeah. Question for you on the screen. That's your question. Which surah is known as the Surah to Shifa? You like the options? Yes, please. There are four options for you. Oh yes. A is Surah Kafirun. The B is Surah Nasr. And the C is Surah Nas, and the D is Surah Fatiha. You think which Surah known as Surah to Shifa? I think Surah Nasr. You think Surah Nasr, option B? Yeah. If this is the correct answer, you get five. Otherwise? Zero. Zero? Okay. You have chosen option B. We will log option B for you and to see whether this answer is the right answer or the wrong answer. Let's go. Surah Nasr. Uh, uh, unfortunately, this is the wrong answer. Nafis. 
but never mind still time to go chances are still remaining for you okay right Shazi ready for the next question yes okay we are going to the next question that's for Shazi your question on the screen how many brothers did Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam have Options. Yes, please. Inshallah. Options are for you is A, 9, B, 10, C, 11, D, 12. How many brothers did Yusuf alayhi salam have? I'll go with option C, 11. 11. That's your final answer? Yes. Hmm? What if you are wrong? I will take the other chances. It doesn't mean that the first question, the answer was right. It doesn't mean that the second one will be right. So you still want to go for the C. Okay. If you are so confident that the answer C is the correct answer, we will lock the answer C for you and to check whether your answer is the right answer. Right? Shazid. Final chance for you if you have to change your mind. Yes, okay, I'll change my mind. Uh, look, Shazid, you have chosen C. Hmm? Yeah. Shall I lock it? Um, okay. I'll go for option A. Don't take my word for your answer. You be confident with your own answer. Right? Yeah. Whatever your heart says, go for it. Yeah. Think again? C. C? Yes. Okay. I will lock the answer C. Inshallah. How many brothers Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam had? Yusuf chosen C. Alhamdulillah. And that was the right answer. That was the right answer. Mashallah. Shazib, another score for you? You have? How much? 10. Ten, Alhamdulillah. 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 Okay, we are going to next contestant. Who do we have? He is Nafis. Nafis, ready? Yeah. Question for you on the screen. Similar question, but with another prophet. How many sons did Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam have? You want the options? Yes, please. Of course. You will have the options. A, that is 2. B, 3. C, 4. And D, 5. Take your time. Do not rush. Think properly and decide. I think it's B. B. You think B is the final answer you think? Never think. mind. I think it's A. You have changed your mind to A. Yeah. You think this, he had two sons only. I can't help you. You need to think deeply, confidently. Whatever your heart says, go for it. Maybe 
this is how you'll get your okay D D that means you say he had five sons yeah are you confident uh, yeah yes that's all powerful okay if you are confident and you think this is the correct answer I will look and that's how it goes if the right if this is the right answer obviously you get score five by giving wrong answer obviously that will be zero so you have chosen the D that the Noah alayhi salatu was salam had five sons you did you know the story of Noah alayhi salam no 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 Shazib do you know the story of Noah alayhi salam uh, yes, but I, did, I don't know how many sons he have. Has. Okay. The story of Nuh alayhi salam is that the flood came and the entire world was flooded because Allah punished everybody who was disobedient to Allah. And the whole world was under the flood and he had a boat. Those people believed in him and believed in Allah. They were saved. That's the story of Nuh alayhi salam. Okay. This, but the story was not our question. Our question was how many sons Nuh alayhi salatu salam had. So, and you have chosen the answer D, uh, and you think it is the five sons that the Nuh alayhi salatu salam had. Final chance for you if you want to change your mind. <coughs> Otherwise, we will lock the answer D. Yeah. We love the answer D. Okay. We are going for the answer D that Nafis has chosen. And the correct answer is. Uh, uh, Nafis, unfortunately, that was the wrong answer. In fact, what was the correct answer? Shall I reveal the correct answer? Correct answer was the C. Oh. He had four sons. Okay, Nafis? Yeah. But that's one. You still have one more chance to go. Okay? But the next question goes to Shazib. Shazib, ready? Yes, inshallah. Okay, inshallah, inshallah. Shazib. Confident? There's your question. How many Sahabas took part in the Battle of Badr? In a Battle of Badr, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, when he went to Medina from Mecca, and the Kuffar wanted to uh, kill the Muslims, and the battle took place. That is called the Battle of Badr. So, how many Sahabas? How many companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam were with him? Shall yeah, I give you the yes, options? Yes, please. Okay, well, of course, we'll give you the option. There you go. Your options A is 313, option B is 315, option D is 317, and option D, you'll have 319. So what do you think? I think that the answer is option A. You think that option A? Yes. That's your final answer. Yes, option A. You are so confident. Hmm? How old are you, Shazi? I'm 11 years old. You are 11 years. Alhamdulillah. Which madrasa you, do you go to? I go to the one in Poplar, Poplar Central Mosque. 
what my central was. Okay. Battle of Badr. Do you know the story of Battle of Badr? I've heard only a bit of it. A bit of it. Okay. Then what made you to think that it was 313 Sahabas took part in this battle? It made me to think that normally that the special numbers are like odd numbers and it ends with three and three is one of the most is three in Islam to me it's like a important number <laughs> excellent judgment then we have to check whether this answer was the right answer does it correspond with your common sense with your judgment okay we will lock the answer okay ready yes inshallah. okay let's go he has chosen answer a is the correct answer let's see <laughs> mashallah mashallah wonderful shazim congratulations to you thank you you are so intelligent all answers that I have asked you, all answers you have given the correct answer. Okay? Yes. But the game is a game. Okay? One more chance for Nafis. Nafis, you have one more life. One more question. Okay? the question for you on the screen when did the battle of Uhud take place okay similar question like battle of Badr <coughs> and battle of Uhud okay but when okay there's options for you a two Arabian Hijri two B is Three Arabian Hijri, C, you get fourth Arabian Hijri, and the option D, that would be fifth Arabian Hijri. So, what do you think? When did the Battle of Uhud take place? Second, third, fourth, or fifth? Fifth. Fifth. So, that means when Prophet Sallallahu went to Medina, after fifth year of Hijri, the Battle of Uhud took place. Hmm? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Yeah. Why did you think so? Because, um, I don't know, I just guessed. You just guessed? Yeah. Sometimes guessed work, and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Huh? all the time you know but some when it works i think in my experience when you you are confident right? confidence give you more strength to decide if you know the battle of uhud you'll know exactly when it has taken place hmm? so let's check whether your answer was the right answer if this is the right answer, you'll score five. But still, it's good, good score. But before we decide, we have to go and check. You have chosen the answer D. There you go. Uh, uh, Nafis, this time to. That was the wrong choice. But never mind. You have taken part in the competition. Important thing is to take part in the competition. Uh, all three questions 
you couldn't give the right answer. So obviously, the Shazib, uh, he goes through to the next round. And Nafis, your journey ends here. But we congratulate you because you have taken part next time. There's another chance for you right, to take part in this competition. So the viewers, as you know, the today's winner is Sayyid Shazib Ali. Uh, we have asked him many questions. He has given all the correct answer. Many questions meaning three questions each we asked and he has given all correct answers. He had scored 15. So he'll go to the next round to compete with another genius contestants. And then if he wins there, he'll get the prize. Chance for you. If you would like to join to this competition, you have to dial our number, Ikra TV, or you need to email, or you need to WhatsApp, or the text. The number appears on the screen. Your WhatsApp number 07387616816. And if you email us, ikraquiz.tv, you can email us and inshallah it's a great chance you'll be appearing on the tv respected viewers that's it today we end our program here inshallah see you next time assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh